the prosperous word. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Joshua 1, 8 Step 1. Realize that God wants you to prosper. Genesis 1, 27 through 29. So God created man in his own image. In the image and likeness of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, using all its vast resources in the service of God and man, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and over every living creature that moves upon the earth. And God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the land, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. Genesis 39, 2 And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Deuteronomy 1, 11. May the Lord, the God of your fathers, make you a thousand times as many as you are, and bless you as he has promised you. Deuteronomy 6, 3. Listen closely, Israel, and be careful to obey. Then all will go well with you, and you will have many children in the land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you. Joshua 1, 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Psalm 84, 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows present grace and favor and future glory, honor, splendor, and heavenly bliss. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Psalm 35, 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Psalm 65, 11. You crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Psalm 81.10 For it was I, the Lord your God, who rescued you from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it with good things. Psalm 105.37 He brought Israel forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Psalm 115, 12 through 16. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron, the priesthood. He will bless those who reverently and worshipfully fear the Lord, both small and great. May the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. May you be blessed of the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth has he given to the children of men. Proverbs 10, 22. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Proverbs 24, 3 through 4. A house is built by wisdom and becomes strong through good sense. 
Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with all sorts of precious riches and valuables. Haggai 2, 7 through 9 And I will shake all nations and the desire and the precious things of all nations shall come in, and I will fill this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter glory of this house with its successor to which Jesus came shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace and prosperity, says the Lord of hosts. Zechariah 8, 12 For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due. And I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye, through his poverty, might be rich. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 10. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, He hath dispersed abroad, He hath given to the poor, His righteousness remaineth forever. Now he that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness." 3 John 1, 2 Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well, even as I know your soul keeps well and prospers. Step 2. Realize that prosperity is received by faith based on God's Word. Genesis 12, 2 and 3. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you with abundant increase of favors, and make your name famous and distinguished, and you will be a blessing, dispensing good to others. And I will bless those who bless you, who confer prosperity or happiness upon you, and curse him who curses or uses insolent language towards you. In you will all the families and kindred of the earth be blessed, and by you they will bless themselves. Genesis 13, 2 Now Abram was extremely rich in livestock and in silver and in gold. Genesis 26, 12 through 14. Then Isaac sowed seed in that land and received in the same year a hundred times as much as he had planted, and the Lord favored him with blessings. And the man became great and gained more and more until he became very wealthy and distinguished. He owned flocks, herds, and a great supply of servants, and the Philistines envied him. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 13. 
If you will listen diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, being watchful to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you heed the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your beasts, the increase of your cattle, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading trough. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon you in your storehouse and in all that you undertake. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself, as he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name and in the presence of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord shall make you have a surplus of prosperity through the fruit of your body, of your livestock, and of your ground in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord shall open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain of your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands, and you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail, and you shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath, if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and are watchful to do them. Second Chronicles 31, 20, and 21 Hezekiah did this throughout all Judah, and he did what was good, right, and faithful before the Lord his God. And every work that he began in the service of the house of God, in keeping with the law and the commandments to seek his God, inquiring of and yearning for him, he did with all his heart, and he prospered. Psalm 1, 1 through 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Psalm 92, 12 through 14. But the godly will flourish like palm trees and grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon, for they are transplanted to the Lord's own house. They flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, they will still produce fruit they will remain vital and green. Psalm 118.25 Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Psalm 128, 1 and 2 how joyful are those who fear the Lord, all who follow his ways. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. Isaiah 1, 19. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Ecclesiastes 11, 6. 
In the morning sow your seed, and in the evening withhold not your hands. For you know not which shall prosper, whether this or that, or whether both alike will be good. Matthew 6, 33. But seek, aim at, and strive after, first of all, his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right, and then all these things taken together will be given you besides. Luke 6, 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that ye meet with all it shall be measured to you again step 3 Realize that you have a right to a prosperous life. Second Kings 8, 6 And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed unto her a certain officer, saying, Restore all that was hers, and all the fruits of the field since the day that she left the land, even until now. Job 36, 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Psalm 34, 10. Even strong young lions sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Psalm 37, 3 through 4. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you your heart's desires. Psalm 37, 19. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. Psalm 41, 1 through 3. Oh, the joys of those who are kind to the poor. The Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescues them from their enemies. The Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. Psalm 72, 3. May the mountains yield prosperity for all, and may the hills be fruitful. Psalm 72, 7 May all the godly flourish during his reign. May there be abundant prosperity until the moon is no more. Psalm 72, 16 May there be abundant grain throughout the land, flourishing even on the hilltops. May the fruit trees flourish like the trees of Lebanon, and may the people thrive like grass in a field. Proverbs 11, 24, and 25. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper, those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Proverbs 13, 22. Good people leave an inheritance to their grandchildren, but the sinner's wealth passes to the godly. Proverbs 21, 5. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Proverbs 21, 20. The wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. Proverbs 22, 4. 
True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and long life. Proverbs 27, 18 As workers who tend a fig tree are allowed to eat the fruit, so workers who protect their employer's interests will be rewarded. Proverbs 28, 19, and 20. A hard worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies ends up in poverty. The trustworthy person will get a rich reward, but a person who wants quick riches will get into trouble. Proverbs 28, 25. Greed causes fighting. Trusting the Lord leads to prosperity. Jeremiah 33, 9. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them, and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Mark 10, 28 through 30. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake and the gospels, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. John 10:10. 10, 10. The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Ephesians 2, 10 For we are God's own handiwork, His workmanship recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew that we may do those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand for us, taking paths which he prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. Philippians 4, 15 through 20. Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica ye sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all and abound I am full, having received of Ephroditus the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Philippians 4:19 And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from his glorious riches which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. Hebrews 6:13 and 14 For when God made promise to Abraham because he could swear by no greater he swore by himself saying, Surely blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. Step 4. Express your thankfulness to God for His prosperous word.
Deuteronomy 8, 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. 1 Chronicles 16, 8 Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Psalm 35, 27 Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Psalm 50, 14 Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. Psalm 67, 5 and 6 May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Then the earth will yield its harvest, and God, our God, will richly bless us. Psalm 112, 1 through 3 Praise the Lord. How joyful are those who fear the Lord and delight in obeying His commands. Their children will be successful everywhere. An entire generation of godly people will be blessed. They themselves will be wealthy, and their good deeds will last forever. Psalm 116, 17, and 18. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Joel 2, 25 and 26. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And he shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Matthew 15, 32 through 38. Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. And his disciples say unto him, Whence should we have so much bread in the wilderness as to fill so great a multitude? And Jesus saith unto them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, seven and a few little fishes. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fishes and gave thanks and break them and gave to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled and they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets full. And they that did eat were 4,000 men beside women and children. 2 Corinthians 9, 10, and 11. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causeth through us thanksgiving to God.